people are saying we have we have yet another guest tonight he's here with us he is Firmwood's alleged ambassador at large he always says he is and there's some question about that some people phoned in uh, with some questions and objections to him using that title more objections i think than questions yes. yeah um, his name is william wd bud prize <laughs> Well, William W.D. Bud. Yeah, well, I was having this exciting dream about President, uh, ex-President Ford. And, really? Uh, my heart ain't in Look, I've got to digress. I have to digress from my topic of tonight, which is essentially about President Ford. But I want to tell you something. This afternoon, I was watching the Dinah Shore show. I never miss it. Ever. Not a day in my life do I miss Dinah Shore. I want well, to tell you got a thing for her. You... Jenna Dinah the only reason I'm going through all this stuff with my chin, trying to jam it back in my jaw so that I'll have a real nice profile as Dinah. <laughs> I love this woman. This is a big bone woman, and I love her. Guess who was on the show this afternoon? I don't know what could possibly upset you on the Dinah Shore George show. George Montgomery's on the show. George Montgomery. Used to be married to that sweet angel. Give her up. And there he is on the show with her. It's well, the same I, man that makes the furniture, I believe, isn't it, George? He, may, he makes he furniture. Not that. only that, but he's all into the different sculpture and art and all like that. And he's on there tooting his own horn like crazy. I've never seen anything the like of it in my entire life. I'll be darned. <laughs> he's showing the different paintings that he's done and all that, uh, like that, and uh, all that, that sort of thing. You know. Art. But, art. Well, it just got me so darn upset. I just can't see straight. I don't. Know. <laughs> my heart is just going like a trip hammer. Well, I just want. I want you to know, Dinah that the two of us could make beautiful art together. And I just want to show you, uh, and also the viewing audience, I, I just want to encourage everybody, you know, to think of themselves as an artist. I mean, there's, yes. not, there's no person who can't begin drawing. I mean, if you know a few of the simple principles of art. And uh, now, for instance, I make one circle here, you see there. I'll make one circle there. And I'll make one circle here. All right, that don't look like nothing. <laughs> but then you'll put two lines here like that, and just in that fashion. Start out with a simple stick figure, just like that. <laughs> Work in your arms in this fashion here. Now it don't look like nothing, does it? But when you start to fill in the figure, <laughs> just in this fashion here, you see, you thicken out the legs to a better proportion, you it see. It becomes almost three-dimensional. Thicken out your arms there. Start to add the little different features, like your mouth. Nose, your eyes, a little bit of hair here, some ears on there, and uh, now here I'm going to add two simple lines, and you see what it is. Uh, it's right. right over here. Yeah. Now uh, uh, put a chimney in here. Smoke. This round circle don't look like nothing until I do this, and I'll bet this young man will recognize instantly what this becomes. What is it? A son. Uh, <laughs> well, all right. Hats off my mind. I just, uh, you know, I just didn't want George to get a leg up on me, you know, so to speak. You mentioned something uh, before that was interesting. Well, um, oh, oh. Uh, this one. You mentioned the idea of um, President Ford. Well, guess who this dream? is? I can't guess who that is. Well, wait a minute. If I add few detail, more details like fingers. Okay. And this... Here, who is it? Could be a man with a yo-yo. <laughs> Someone walking a conch shell, possibly a, a grenade. That's a golf club. Eight. The young man just said what it, exactly what it is. It's a golf club. That's President Ford. Oh. Um. <laughs> Last time you were on the show, I had a couple of questions I wanted to ask. I didn't get time. One of them is, what does that WD in your name stand for? William W.D. Bud Price. Well, now, that's a real interesting thing because, uh, you see, I had no middle names uh, when I was born. Mm. But uh, my mama's name was Demon. I Demond. thought it was a family uh, yeah, connection Demond. there. And that's the D in the name, you know. And I was uh, breastfed till I was three years of age. Wow. <laughs> Well, at, the age of, uh, at the age of three, uh, my daddy looked over at my mama and says, Wean him, Damon. <laughs> so the W actually stands for Wean him. I don't use Wean him, Damon, naturally. I no. just use W. -D. Sounds silly. That's a family thing. Fantastic. But what's new down at the Chamber of Commerce? You know, I had this, uh, this feeling about President Ford, you know. I was 
cutting out this uh, uh, recipe out of the Chronicle for tuna surprise. Mm -hmm. That's the one made with scotch. I remember it was in there. <laughs> tuna scotch casserole. For, Go them, ahead. for them as drinks. Mm -hmm. you, you, other, otherwise, you can use things maple like maple syrup. syrup. Yeah. Maple syrup. That, that's right. I've just seen it. Well, I flipped over this recipe, and here on the other side of this story about ex-president Ford that's gone all through Michigan, here, thither, and yon, looking for $3 million to open an ex-president Ford Museum in Grand Rapids. Hmm, that's the uh, furniture capital of our nation, too. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> true. And there, there you see, uh, you know, I mean, uh, there isn't no a reason in the world why you need furniture in a museum, unless you're no. talking about a wax museum, and then I suppose you could get away with wax furniture, you know. <laughs> but anyway, I'm clipping out this recipe for tuna, uh, tuna surprise, you know, and, um, and uh, all of a sudden, this light goes on above my head. Well, that's, that was very lucky because, as you know, it's very bad for your eyes to read in the dark. I certainly do know that, and my mama, Damon, you know, was an expert seamstress, and this is a woman who could and did tie two knots in an eyelash. <laughs> I want you to know that my mom had done this every day of her life. Really? What may I ask? What was the reason for the reason her doing for that? The reason for that was to keep her fingers, uh, fingers nimble, because she had arthritis, mm -hmm. and she uh, kept her fingers real nimble by That's tying ready. these two knots in an eyelash. Not while they were still in her eyelid, though. No, oh. she'd pluck mine out. Oh. <laughs> now, imagine if you will. The idea of the President of the United States scurrying around here, Thither and Yon in Michigan, asking for three million dollars uh, <laughs> to build his museum. And to build it in Grand Rapids, that's already famous, when here is uh, 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 Fernwood that just needs such of a project as this to buff up its prospects. Yep. <laughs> but it sounds to me like you're angling to get that Ford Museum built right here in F.W. Fernwood, am I right? Don't you know you just added two and two and come up with a number between three and five? <laughs> and I want you to know, with the spunk that we have in Fernwood, I'll bet you dollars to dog dirt that we could get it done. <laughs> It occurs to me, if you wanted to go with the bigger building, though, you could have a Ford museum that would be for all the Fords. For President Ford, of course, and he'd be the main one in the main room, but in some of the other little rooms off there, you could have Henry Ford and Whitey Ford and Les Paul and Mary Ford. <laughs> Anyone named Ford, you could just throw them all in there. I think that might be a good idea. I want you to know, this here hat was worn by Ward Fiedler, uh, who sat in the Ohio delegation at the convention in KC. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, he wore this very hat. And right here we have oh. some of the actual confetti. Well, better get it all back in there. You don't want to lose this. Yeah, it's probably well, worth it. No, this, this is not the real one. <laughs> well, the hat's real, but the, but the confetti is... Uh, this simulated? Is, this is simulated. That's the fake one. The real confetti is all locked up under lock and key. Okay, good. <laughs> Uh, this is Ward by uh, this is Ward by Ward, uh, you know, at the uh, convention itself. Was Ward uh, was he an actual delegate or an alternate or what was he? He's the bus driver. <laughs> here's, the, here's the bus driver, and there were some people that didn't want to go in, give him their tickets, so he went on in, and and he wore this hat all the way back from KC to uh, Fernwood on the bus. Oh, be darned. That's uh, right. Hey, you're not going to tell me these are actually Gerald Ford's shoes here, are you? Well, can we pull these out? Maybe? Well, no, Bartha, I'm not actually going to tell you that because that would be a lie. Oh. Uh, but I will tell you this, that these shoes, this here, can the camera see this? Uh, these shoes are exactly and precise, the same size of a shoe that President Ford wears. Uh, <laughs> We are going to nail these down in the museum. And anybody who wishes to come by and slip his feet in there and see how it would feel to wear the same size of a shoe as President Ford may do so. This is it because there's an old saying that don't judge a man till you've worn his shoes. This is a, this is a, this is a idea that's a, this idea is a quite similar to your gremlin's Chinese footprints. But thanks so much for being with us, and a lot of good luck to you. And it was interesting hearing about everything you had to say tonight, yeah. especially. I like that part. Well, one thing, I've just, I've just, just one thing. If George Montgomery, if you're watching, George, <laughs> George, get remarried or get off the pot. <laughs> Well, we certainly uh, hope the Ford Museum works out a lot better than 
your artwork here. Uh, we'll be right back after these words. 